Uh, Sergei Bobrovsky, he stole the show in Montreal as the Jackets beat the Habs 2-1 last night in overtime. Charlie Lindgren made his fifth straight start for Montreal. He was solid again, but Bobrovsky, oh my gosh, the saves he was making saw Paul Byron on the breakaway, and then he made this ridiculous blocker save to rob Jacob De La Rose, and Zach Arensky, he scored the OT winner. I mean, it was, it was just unfair. Bobrovsky was really the story of the game on a day that several goalies were making headlines in Montreal. So let's see. What goalie story would you like to talk about? Um, we, I mean, we weren't on air yesterday, obviously, uh, the Roy Halladay uh, ceremony, uh, the moving Roy Halladay ceremony uh, uh, preempted us. But we, I mean, how do you not talk Carey Price right now? Oh, boy. You kind of have to talk Carey Price right now. <laughs> and I sat at this desk with McAuliffe, I believe it was last week, and professed my distrust towards the Montreal Canadiens on this topic. They have no credibility when talking about Carey Price. Mm -hmm. They refuse to be straight with anybody. Mm -hmm. And from the sound of what I heard yesterday, they're not even talking to each other in terms of what's going on. You just gave him ten and a half million a year. That starts next year. How are you not in complete knowledge of every aspect of what that ten and a half million, the highest paid goalie in the history of hockey when next season begins, how do you not know Everything. That, I want to know when he farts. Uh, well, I want to know when he eats breakfast. You, he hurts himself November 2nd in Minnesota. Nobody knew in the warm-up. Nobody had a clue. Isn't that on him, though, too? That's on the team. Okay. I'm sorry. No, that's, I, that, I'm not that's disagreeing on, with you. An athlete's going to stay in there, especially in warm-up. Yes. A, and a, a guy's going to try and push through it. It happens all the time. The Habs need to be uber sensitive towards anything they see. Are you telling me no one saw anything? In that pregame, well, you no saw one it noticed quickly it. in the game. He gave up three. You saw it yeah. the first period, three yeah. goals on 14 shots. Absolutely, Carolyn. The thing but, too is, if, if we think back to two years ago, right, and the miscommunication and the kind of PR nightmare that they had from Carey Price after he stepped on the puck and he wasn't the same for the rest of the year. You have that, and they've, they've slightly learned from that. I mean, if you compare it to that, they're being a little bit more straightforward, but it's still just a lower body injury that's going to take time because of the position he plays, and that's all we really know. Thank goodness for Charlie Lindgren. We don't know how much longer this will last. Think about what you just said for a second. <laughs> Thank goodness for Charlie Lindgren. I mean, and I'm, a, I'm, on, I'm on board Team Lindgren. Yeah. I like 964 save anything. percentage going into last night. He wasn't the reason they lost that last night. Love me some Charlie Lindgren. Yes, and that's the issue right now, too, is I think we're distracted by all this goalie talk, and fairly so, because Price is out. But the Blue Jackets headed into the game with the Habs. They were not scoring. No. Okay, Lindgren has not allowed more than two goals in the starts that he has had since Price has gone out. He was fantastic. So goaltending is not the issue. No. There are uh, many issues. We're, we're already behind, believe oh, it or not. Sorry. Before we flip the script on this, though, guys, the Paul Byron thing last night, before you roll it, I, I, why is it in life that when a guy is super pissed off, it's sometimes funny? Why is it when a guy is trying to relieve stress but he's doing it in an incorrect way, mm -hmm. it makes it more comical and people around him have a hard time keeping a straight face? Watch Kirk Muller trying to, he just missed a breakaway here. Oh, is it oh, okay? No. Oh, no, can't break relax. it. Relax. He tries to throw the stick over. No, that, doesn't, that work. doesn't work. Nope. And he sits down as a kick. Oh, right? that'll hurt. There's another, how about yeah. another? Oh, this oh, yeah, is going to be good. No, oh, no. Helmet. Oh, no. Oh, no. I hope he got a new helmet. We've all been. <laughs> we, that's not safe. We've all been there. I'm such a D-bag. I laugh at that stuff all the time. Why is it guys uber pissed or funny? I don't, I, I don't have an answer for it, but we wish Paul Bryan all the best. You never get angry, and it's never No, I never. Angry.